All right, so let let me uh, let me welcome everybody. So welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Gruma Wok. I serve as the director of engineering and technology for Alameda County Water District. Uh, this is a community public informational meeting for the Alameda Reservoir Roof Replacement Project. Um, we I will turn it over to the project manager Carlos Sempre to to tell us what's happening on the project and the construction activity that's uh, going to be starting here uh, shortly. Carlos. Thanks, Groom. Hi, everybody. Um, before we start, Chris, let's go to the next slide, please. Uh, before we start, here's an overview of tonight's presentation. We'll go over who we are, what we're doing, when we're doing it, and what it means for you. Uh, at the end, we'll have a Q&A session. Um, but during the presentation, anyone should feel free to type a question into chat and uh, we'll take a look at that. So just to get started, my name is Carlos Sempera. Uh, I'm an engineer here at the Water District, and I'm joined today by a couple of our team members. Uh, Justin, why don't you introduce yourself and then uh, Gonzalo? Yeah, my name is Justin Harrison. I'm with uh, Kennedy Jenks. I'll be doing construction management on the project on behalf of the district. Uh, so basically overseeing uh, the contractors work out there on site. Hello, my name is Gonzalo Escudero. I am the project manager for Thompson Builders. We are the general contractor for this project. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Chris. Uh, next slide. Yeah, so this is the team. Uh, and Chris, let's go to the next one. So a little bit about us. Uh, we make it our mission to provide a reliable supply of high quality water at a reasonable price. Chris, next slide. Uh, and we've been here since 1914, and by here I mean Fremont, Union City, and Newark. Uh, we're a county water district according to law, uh, but that doesn't mean that we cover the entire county. Our jurisdiction is basically Alameda Creek and the neighborhoods that started getting their water from it more than 100 years ago, which means we cover the Tri-City area. Uh, Alameda Creek flows through Fremont and Union City over by Quarry Lakes. Uh, and Chris, next slide, please. Uh, and so it provides 40%, roughly 40% of our of our water. Uh, we use Quarry Lakes to let it refill our underground aquifers, especially during the wet season. Uh, and then we pump it out when we need it. Another 40% of our water comes from the state water project, essentially the Delta. Uh, and then we get 20% from Hetch Hetchy. Uh, every day we put that water into our distribution system. Uh, and we use our tanks and reservoirs to, to help us uh, run the system and keep it balanced. These are tanks and reservoirs for treated drinkable water. So they're they're all covered. They're not as large as lakes that uh, might think of as traditional reservoirs, uh, but this is, yeah, this is what we use for potable water. So now moving on to our project, let's go to the next slide. So we are upgrading the Alameda Reservoir. So there's that name yet again. And this one is named after a former ACWD director. Um, Anthony, Anthony Alameda was a board member during the 1960s. Um, I think this reservoir was originally named the Warm Springs Reservoir, uh, renamed it after, <clears throat> after Mr. Alameda. So it is a concrete lined, um, essentially a depression in the ground where we can store 16 million gallons of treated drinking water, built a little over 50 years ago. And because of that age, it's reached the point where we are looking to replace the roof, uh, looking to improve its, its seismic design uh, and then we have some miscellaneous improvements like replacing the drain valve uh, and then adding fans and interior lighting, um, which we'll get into momentarily. Next slide, please. So just an overview of the neighborhood. Uh, the reservoir is in between Klamath and Paseo Padre Parkway. Um, so it's near 680 and we expect traffic to come through 680 uh, to Paseo uh, and to Klamath. Um, 
the the red boundary that's the district property so the fence in between us and and you the public um will receive acoustic acoustic attenuation barriers um and you'll see here this is we we have a road around the reservoir so we'll have traffic coming in through Shoshone court that's where our access gate is um and all of our crews will be in that in that area just around just outside the reservoir perimeter busy taking the roof off putting a new one in uh should be minimal changes to the existing landscaping so we're not we're not cutting down any trees uh we're not doing anything that'll affect the the creek just south of of the reservoir uh some of you may have noticed that we're doing work on one of our booster stations just across the street from Kirtner Road uh that one is has been under construction for some time uh looking at completing that this fall uh and yes these projects are are interrelated um the reservoir essentially feeds the booster station and that lets us get water up to uh to the higher elevation areas in Fremont Chris next slide please So a little bit about what we intend to do. Um, you can see the the roof and the roof beams are going to be replaced. Uh, we have a number of existing columns. These are just concrete columns, uh, which will stay in place for the most part. A few of them are going to be replaced uh, just based on their condition. Um, and once we have those replaced, we'll wrap them all in fiber reinforced plastic just a, a wrap that'll protect it against um against chlorine intrusion uh specifically um and now one feature of the old reservoir is that we have this center line <clears throat> this little pop-up down the middle that is great for ventilation and for natural light um and that ventilation is part of the reason why the wood has done so well over these 50 years um but it's a bad idea seismically it just does not help the the reservoir roof survive an earthquake so when we replace the roof we're not going to have that opening anymore and because of that we're going to need artificial lighting and artificial ventilation so along the south wall <clears throat> we'll be installing six fans uh, there'll be time to run um, not very often. They'll run based on the moisture inside the reservoir and the temperature. And the idea there is just to get moist air out of the reservoir, keep everything, keep the wood and the roof dry. Uh, just that way we can get another 50 years out of it reliably. Um, and then interior lighting, we'll just have lights inside so that we can work safely. Uh, even without that benefit of of natural light coming in from that clear story. Chris, next slide. So if anyone's interested, this is some of the work we're doing. We've got large beams uh, going across the reservoir and for seismic purposes, we are just going to tie them together better than we used to. 50 years ago um, seismic design has come a long way and now we we have ways to both tie the beams together and tie them to the wall so that we can transfer our seismic forces uh, down into the ground uh, and then on the image below you can see the, the south wall and we've got this is half of the wall so you can see the three fans um, on one side of it uh, and like I said, these fans are only going to be on the south wall. Um, they are large so that they can run at a low speed and be quiet and not disruptive. Um, but with any luck, these will not run very often. Chris, next slide. So what all of this means is just a more reliable reservoir that will last decades more um should survive earthquakes uh, of this of sizes that we haven't really seen here in Fremont 
in recorded history. Um, that lets us have emergency storage in case of an earthquake. Uh, but during normal operation too, this means that we'll have just a reliable supply of water for the neighborhood, for that Southern Fremont area uh, that gets its water from this reservoir. Uh, and also we'll be feeding that booster station to get water up into the hills. Uh, as well with the lighting and with some interior work that we're doing, we're just going to improve safety for our workers. Every every week, every every week, you you you've probably seen some of our staff entering uh, the area and entering the reservoir to to do testing, do sampling. Um, so this will just make it a better place for them to be. Chris, next slide. So uh, in terms of schedule, we are starting construction very soon. I think the uh, Thompson Builders will be on site starting this month. Um, in the, during the summer, we're expecting to remove the existing roof and roof beams and some of the concrete, some sections of concrete wall. Uh, that may actually be the loudest part of the project. Um, so after summer, We'll be installing new columns, new walls, new beams, and that work uh, should be less disruptive than the demolition. Mid next year, aiming for June, we'll be refilling the reservoir, doing some testing. Uh, and after that, we hope to be out of your hair for another 50 years. Next slide, please. So what we're doing to minimize the impact to, to neighbors um, is installing those acoustic attenuation barriers. So along the fencing between the neighbors and the reservoir, we'll be just installing these sound blankets um, to keep some of the noise out. Uh, working hours will be, will be enforced from eight to five, not outside of that. Um, and like we said, the noisiest period will be coming up soon but it's a finite period and after that uh, should be a little better traffic control a lot of we we do expect a lot of traffic coming through shoshone court um, but we're going to do everything we can to keep that traffic orderly and not disruptive um, we're also just going to minimize disruption to the wildlife in the area so that means frogs near the in the creek um, putting up fencing so that they can't get into the site, uh, looking out for nesting birds, just doing our, our doing our duty to the to the local environment. Next slide, please. So for updates, we we have a we have a project website uh, up at acwd.org. You can either go to our website and go to current projects, uh, or you can just type in that slash 792. Uh, that'll take you directly to the Alameda Reservoir project website. Uh, we'll also be on social media. So look for us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Nextdoor. Um, next slide, please. And if you have any questions, these are some contact, uh, these are some phone numbers you can reach us at. Uh, mine is there at 510-668-4484. You can bug me. Uh, Justin Harrison, our construction manager, he's available at any time. So uh, reach out to him if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, next slide, please. And that's it. So with that, uh, happy to take any questions from the public. Thank you, Carlos. And and I think you mentioned this, but I wanted to emphasize that the project will comply with all applicable local uh, and state ordinances and regulations, and we will minimize impacts to the maximum extent practic practicable. Um, I do not see any questions or hands raised. Um, are there any questions? If you have any questions, you just unmute yourself. Uh, and speak up or um, use the icons at the bottom of the screen to raise your hand or type in, in the chat box. 
This is uh, Director Gunther, no questions. Thank you, Carlos. Great presentation. Um, had the chance through the field visit too. Good luck on the project. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Nice done. Thank you, Director Gunther. Are there any other questions or comments? All right, well, thank you everyone. We're concluding this meeting at 6.22 on Thursday, May 4th. Um, have a good day. Thank you, Carlos, great job. Thank All you, right. everyone. Thanks, everyone. Nice thank you. Bye-bye.